Hey guys, it's Rick here at utvsource.com and this is the HCR Dual Sport Kit. In particular, this kit is for the 64 inch model, the uh, Can-Am DS. So for the guys running trails, uh, they're going with the 64 inch wide side by side so they can get into the woods and out of the woods. Some trails have width restrictions to them so this kit provides an aftermarket solution for upgrading your suspension. This is how you're going to get it from HCR guys. You can choose your powder coat color. It's going to come delivered in saran wrap overlaid with bubble wrap and then paper and then in a box. So this actually came from HCR just like this. This is how we open the box. This is all boxed and you can see the welding marks on top of the arms and through the arms. Well, that's internal gussets. Everything's TIG welded. You can see the doubler plates. What I like about this kit is actually a couple things. It includes all the hardware. So that's, that's pretty important. You're not chasing your hardware. So it has all the Darling bushings in it. It has your new shock bolt because the shock is now captured on both sides, double shear, and sets down in the arm versus just on tabs. You're also gonna get with the kit, your new brake line clamps. It comes with a, a really good instruction manual. And if you follow this manual step by step, you can put this kit on your side by side in a day. For the most part, it's a fairly cut and dry install. The other cool thing that I like about the HCR kit in particular, and it's for all their kits, their dual sport kit, their elite kit, their 72 wide inch kit, or the 64 inch kit, is it allows you to run your stock ball joints. So you can pull your stock factory ball joints out of your factory arms and press them into your new kit. It's gonna save you a lot of money if that's a route you wanna go, or you can upgrade to a different ball joint, a more expensive ball joint. Uh, you can get an RCV or a Keller ball joint. And those are more expensive, actually quite a bit more expensive. They are serviceable and rebuildable compared to the factory ones. I tend to like to run the factory ball joints. In every build, you need a weak link. I would rather break a ball joint than break an arm or break a sway bar or something that's a little bit more expensive. So in all of my personal cars, I always carry a, you know, a ball joint or two, a tie rod, extra belts, and when I go into Mexico, an axle and a spindle. This kit's pretty cool. You can be out riding on the weekend, break a ball joint, and have a new part in a matter of days. Any OEM manufacturer is gonna carry that ball joint. Pretty easy to get. It goes together very, very well. Uh, some quick tips when you're assembling one of these HCR kits, get a little bit of grease, CV grease, and you're always going to want to clean out the insides so that these Darling bushings will slide in. You don't need to bang these in, they don't require a hammer, but when they come powder coated, you will get coating inside and it does take up room and it's easier to take a Dremel or some sanding paper and get in there and clean that out. And it. it it's just an easier install if you take the right steps. You can also put a little bit of grease on, on the bolts so they slide through a little bit better. Uh, when you're washing your, your side by side, it, it helps uh, put a little coating on it so the bolts and the nuts aren't you know, rusting out on you depending on where you're living and where you ride. So this is the, this is the upper, this is the lower. You can tell, again on the lower, all the internal gussets that have been put into this by seeing the weld marks. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna ask, is this a must-have item? Is upgrading your suspension a must-have? No, it's not a must-have. But you also need to ask yourself, how hard are you driving your side-by-side, -side, right? A guy like me, I'm gonna take a stock unit out and I'm probably gonna break it. Um, it's just the way it is, that's how I drive. I've been in the industry a little bit longer than most and I'm a little bit harder on things. So for me, on certain models, in particular the Can-Am seems to have a higher fail point 
on its arms compared to a Polaris. Um, just so you guys know, uh, they're both great cars. It just really depends on what you're gonna be driving, how you're gonna be driving it, where you're gonna be driving it. So keep that in mind when you're, you're shopping, guys. These long travel kits or these stock replacement arms are meant not to break. HCR has great customer service, they have quality parts, and they have probably some of the lowest price points for an aftermarket suspension arm. Again, easy to install, budget-friendly, stock ball joints, save you money, and you get to choose your powder coat or you can upgrade your powder coat. You can also order them raw and do your own thing to them as well. So, lots of options with the HCR kit. I think bang for the buck on the Can-Am, it is a must-have. At some point, you're gonna bend a radius rod, you're gonna bend a trailing arm, you're gonna bend your arms. And if you're upgrading your tires and your wheels and you're going to a bigger tire, heavier wheel, more leverage out there, you're gonna bend something. So, preventative, yes. Do you need it? You don't necessarily need it until you break it. But when you break it, you're probably gonna take something else out. So, that becomes the preventative side. Guys, this is the HCR kit. Again, it comes in a 64 inch or 72. Polaris, Can-Am, they have it all. Honda, Talon, I believe they have it for the, the Kawasaki that's out now too. I've seen it, they all look great. They all have the same construction. It's a great company to deal with. And again, it's budget friendly for the parts that you're getting and the craftsmanship that goes into it and the time it takes to make parts like this, it's a great value. So, hope you guys keep following us on the YouTube channel, UTV Source. On Instagram at UTV Source, follow the stories. Subscribe on the email list, that's awesome. That's, that's about it, man. This is a bitchin' kit, and uh, I, really, I really dig it. I've put a lot of hard miles on HCR kits, and you know, knock on wood, I haven't broken one yet. So, there you go, guys. We'll see you on the next run.